Broncos country. What is going on? We made another signing today. Hit that like. Let me know your thoughts on him in the comments. And that is guard Calvin Throckmorton, somebody who has played for Sean Payton in the past. Again, let me know who what y'all think about this. And again, I want to say thank you to all the new subs that we've had. Over 400, we're on our way to 500, so please smash that subscribe as well. But I want to get into this signing and then talk about that. I'm hoping this is still a, a position that we don't get in the draft. So let's go ahead and get started. Calvin Throckmorton has now signed. This is courtesy of the Denver Gazette. I mean, we got to get bro a new helmet, okay? We got to get bro a new helmet. This just looks ridiculous. It, he looks like a Lego guy he looks like a lego guy that's all i'm gonna say but we signed him to a one-year deal i imagine this is for the veteran minimum uh it has to be or at least very close to it because uh, this is a guy that i don't think we want being that first guy off the bench playing guard <laughs> obviously right now when we look at how our roster is built right now we got some guys that i think are kind of able to play some different positions of course luke wattenberg in my opinion would be the first backup guard to either ben powers or quinn miners and i'm trying to remember if any of these guys also play guard i totally forget i don't think quinn bailey does i know matt Piert does or part doesn't so yeah we're just gonna have to see but he does provide some nice depth uh, Another University of Oregon guy. He played with Alex Forsyth for a little bit. So that's always great. Again, started his career out undrafted with the New Orleans Saints in 2020. And yeah, a nice sized uh, depth, depth, depth guard. Okay, 6'5", 309. And I do put a little bit more stock in the pro football focus grades for offensive line and defensive line just because they're really the only... Uh, you know, other stat outside of like sacks on both sides or like hurries and stuff like that, that can give you an indication on how effective your blocking actually is. You can see here uh, in 2021 and 22 with New Orleans. Uh, I mean, this is just this is just terrible stuff. Uh, overall grade rookie year or first year playing 42.4, then 38.4. Then last year with uh, Tennessee and Carolina, 47.9. Yeah, not not the greatest stuff. Did give up, you know, a ton of hurries throughout his time that that he has played. Fifty three career hurries, twelve quarterback hits, four sacks. Now did not give up a sack last year. Out of let's see, five hundred sixty four blocks. So that is something to take into consideration. And he has gotten better. His grades have gotten better, as you can see, now that he's been in the league for a few years. So. Maybe there is still some improvement left ahead for him, even though he's 26.6 years old right now. But again, I feel like this is a guy that might, depending on if we're able to get another guard in the draft, he might kind of go back and forth between being on the roster, being on the practice squad, that type of guy. Guy that's kind of a bubble guy on the offensive line. Again, I would not feel that great having him be that first guard off the bench i would feel like wattenberg's that guy but hey let's say something happens where forsyth is hurt and then wattenberg's got to go to center what do you do after that right now calvin throckmorton is our guy i'm thinking that this interior line as well as tackle could very well be an area that the broncos spend decent draft capital on this year with some of their picks now I want to do a video on this later. Maybe I'll do it later tonight. But wanting to talk about how I think it's ideal if Sean Payton kind of bucks his trend of being, you know, an aggressive guy who's always spending picks to move up, even what we saw last year and doing that, but trading back. And if we can get 12 picks, that would be ideal. 12 picks is my number because then we can use some to still trade up. Okay, later in the draft, if we need to do that. But if we can end this draft with 10 to 12 players, I would be absolutely thrilled. I don't care who we draft 
at what spots. If we get 12 guys out of this year's draft, I'm calling that a win. I'm calling that a win. I'm giving it an A+. plus. So, yeah, this needs to be a focus. The offensive line, we got our starters right now, but it is very clear that we need some interior depth as well. And, man, I wouldn't hurt it. it I don't think it would hurt if we drafted a developmental tackle as well. I know we got Quinn Bailey, but I think maybe he's going to compete for that swing right now with Matt Pert and whoever we draft. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Another New Orleans Saint guy coming here. I guess that's always good for the culture. Again, it, I guess it doesn't it doesn't hurt when he already knows the expectations and the scheme to, to an extent. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, really appreciate everybody's support as well. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And as always, y'all, go Broncos.